So it's January 2022 and you're looking for the easiest way to play some retro games on your Fire Stick or your Nvidia Shield or really any Android device. Now you don't want to find any of the games or the ROMs manually yourself. You don't want to download any kind of emulators or do any kind of configuration. You just want to pick up your controller as I'm doing with my Fire Stick controller and start playing all of these great games straight away. Well, in this video today, let me show you a single application that works great on the Fire Stick, on the Nvidia Shield, and through this single application, you really can go ahead and enjoy all of your favorite retro games. So please do take a moment to hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so to get this application on your Fire Stick or any of your Amazon or Android TV devices, just head over to settings, go down into My Fire TV, click on developer options, where it says install unknown apps. Let's click on that and make sure downloader is set to on. And this just means that we can download applications through downloader. Once you've confirmed that, let's now press the home key and let's open Downloader. Inside Downloader, we can make a quick connection to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com, or you can type in the short code 53402. Let's type that in and click on go. And this will take you directly to my site. Now, when you get to my site, if you head over to the hamburger menu, which is the one with the three lines, click on that, click on tutorials, and the latest tutorial in the list will be how to get this retro gaming emulator on all of your devices. So let's open that up. Here we are. So here's some information about the application. I mean, who doesn't love retro gaming? Let's scroll down. Underneath all of that, we'll have a single link to the application that we need. Here we are. Let's click on that. Scroll down and you're looking for this green download button. Let's click on that and this will download the application directly onto your device. I can now click on install, give that a second. That's now all done. I can click on done. I do recommend that you delete the installation file as it is 50 meg in size. Click on delete again. And let's now press the home key. Now, before we open up the application, as I demonstrated at the start of this video, Yes, you can use your standard remote control to play some of these games, the 8-bit games, basically the ones that don't require many buttons, but you can imagine the, the gaming experience, you know, on a controller like this versus using something like a true gamepad. So before I open the application, I'm also going to pair my Xbox One controller. So I just go over to settings, go down into remotes and Bluetooth devices, go to game controllers, click on add game controller and now using my Xbox one game controller I'm just going to put that into pairing mode but of course you can use any Bluetooth control that you like that now comes up I can now click on that give that a second that's now all paired now I can actually now use the controller to navigate through the menu so I'm going back let's go back again and let's now start the application. Now the application has a very nice clean layout. And as this is the Android TV version, you can do all of the navigation with the standard remote control. Or in my example, I'm going to use my Xbox One controller. And let's go back. Now we can see on the home screen, we have a recommended section. Here we can see options for ranking, uh, the latest games that have been added as they are constantly adding new games to this application. And we can also search for games. Uh, let's go over to ranking and this will basically show you all of the popular games across all of the different systems so here we can see we have good old mario for uh, famicom uh, which is your super nintendo we have some other games here like street fighter like contra now if you can see at the top right we are on page one of 519 so as i'm scrolling to the right we can see we do have a, a very very large library of games now one key thing I did notice that you do need to turn off your VPN before using this application. So I do think it's a bit sensitive. And if you did have your VPN running in the background, I did find that most of these didn't actually load properly or you can actually see the thumbnails. Uh, but we can see that's working fine. Now, of course, any game you want to play. So here we have the good old Sunset Riders on the Mega Drive. 
let's click on that and we can see we get the option to download so I can now click on download so literally within a couple of seconds no messing about trying to find different games online through this single application I can find any game that I want to play I can then click on launch and I'm going to select my Xbox controller and let's quickly customize those keys so click here okay so I'm going to quickly map a button to select so click on that press the select button click on start and let's press uh, this button here and then the standard uh, a b x y so click on the button first and then choose which button you want to map for that so I'm going to press a for a b for b that's all done and quickly just do the up down left and right and then right that's all done I can now press the back button let's now click on launch this should now launch the game for us automatically and it will automatically choose the best emulator for you I can now press the start key which I mapped as this one that's working fine let's just do one player and in a couple of seconds we are now playing this game all of the controls are working I can take out these bad guys and get shot <laughs> okay let's see if I can just uh, get the extra gun there that's working great now when you want to exit I can press the start and select together and click on exit but we can see you do have the option to also save state so if you do want to save your progress you can click on save state and the next time you start this application go back into load state and you can then continue where you left off but I'm going to go to exit and that's sunset riders let's back out of ranking we can also go to latest and this will show you all of the latest games that have been added so some different ones in here let's press back now you can also search for games so if I click on search so I can just type in the first few letters so S then T there we are so let's just go for the first one we can see that's 22 meg in size click on that click on download and if any of you guys are still here with me then if you drop a like on this video and leave the comment hashtag arcade then I know you made it this far in the video which I always appreciate I'll then heart your comment now on these arcade games you have to press the select button to add a virtual coin so let's press select that's now gone in let's click on start and literally within a couple of seconds we were able to browse a large library of games choose the game click on download click on launch and we are now playing that exact game so they really have made the process super easy allowing you to enjoy all of your favorite retro games take that spider-man uh, there you go and again to back out let's press start and select together and let's say now for example you don't want to use an xbox controller you want to use a 4k fire stick or an amazon fire tv remote controller how do you do that well, let's go back to the categories let's download a, a game from the good old uh, super nintendo days let's go for uh, mario brothers click on that let's click on download and as these games are very small should only take a few seconds that's now done I can now click on launch I want to use the fire tv remote controller so once you click on that you want to then pick up your remote control I'm now going to click on customize keys so turn your controller sideways like this let's now click on up I'm now going to press the up on the remote so sideways is going to be this that's done let's now do the same thing for uh, right so press right same thing for down let's press down and then for left let's press left now the start and select buttons because we are limited in how many buttons we have unfortunately we can't use these uh, media buttons at the bottom so there's only about I think four or five buttons we can use so for select I'm going to use uh, rewind this one here and for start I'm going to press I'm going to use the play button that's done and then we only have forward and the context key so forward I'm going to use as uh, A so let's click on A and then press the forward key and then for B I'm going to press the context key which is the one with the three lines so that's all of the buttons let's now press back I can now click on launch press select again so I'm now using the Fire TV remote control if I press play that's like me pressing start I can press start again 
I'm now playing Super Mario Bros. 3 on my 4K Fire Stick Max using my Fire Stick remote control. Okay, let's go forward and let's take this guy out. Uh, take that. And we can see, guys, it works absolutely fine. It is a little bit fiddly, as you can imagine, but it does work. So if you really don't want to spend any money on a game controller and you just want to play these more basic 8-bit games, you can go ahead and do that as I'm demonstrating here. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. Lots of you were asking for the easiest way to play retro games without doing any of that legwork or finding ROMs online or downloading ROMs or transferring ROMs, configuring emulators, and all of that manual stuff. This really is the easiest way to avoid all of that. So if you did find this video useful, then do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this, then please do subscribe, hit the notification bell with all notifications, and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.